All right, let's review. So we're on the Oberdin. Apparently, at some point during its trip, the second mate came down to the cargo hold, which we haven't been to yet, and tried to steal some sort of gem from the Formosans. There was a guard that got knocked out, and apparently another one of the passengers uh, discovered him, and so they, that passenger was killed. And he, the Formosan guard was blamed for that murder, when really it was the second mate. This is the Formosan guard. He was executed for this guy's death, the passenger. And then there was a large gap in time that we haven't filled in yet. Haven't filled in yet, and they were attacked by some sort of sea monster, a giant kraken or something. And several people were ripped apart, and the captain's wife was crushed. And then in the recovery, after in the next morning, the spirits were pretty low. Some people were abandoning ship. Some people were saying that they should take a boat themselves and mutiny. I don't know. We're trying to figure it out. We're still piecing it together. And then after some point after that, there was an attack on the captain. And he fought them all off. But then he, he retired to where he placed his wife's body and killed himself. And that's like all we know of the story so far. So far, there was a bit I skipped over pretty early on. It, I think it was something that happened during the attack. There was this person who was killed by a cannon rolling over him, and instead of continuing on and going to the next body revealed, I went. I went exploring. I want to go back to this chain and see if we can figure out more of what's going on here. I think this is still during the attack. By the beast. Oh my. Oh my. So this person got their head blown off by a cannon that got twisted about because of the monster? Like, what's going on out there? Yeah, there's a tentacle right there. So the monster's there. We can't tell who this person is. Oh, apparently we can. Okay, there, this dude. Christian Wolf, the gunner. And they were shot in the face by a cannon. What else is going on? This one came loose and is about to crush somebody. Here's this dude with the tattoos. Who gets ripped apart later, right? Torn apart by the beast. This guy is new. Oh, no, we've seen him before. He gets killed at the very end. So he survives this. Christian Wolf. So there's two people that are being killed in this scene. Christian Wolf was shot by a cannon. By an unknown attacker? No, it wasn't really by anybody. It it seemed like it was just by happenstance. Right? Who's this? I have no idea. Let's go ahead and find out who they are. doesn't seem like someone tried to kill him. It seemed like it was a mistake. But was it this dude that accidentally killed him? Like, you've got... You've got the fuse. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, who is this dude? Oh, that's Brennan. 
Well, I don't think you're the one that killed him. Let's see. I mean... This is a tentacle grabbing this cannon. And the, the cannon is being turned sideways. The, f the person who fired the cannon is this dude. We don't know who he is. But I... I don't know. Who do... It, are we saying he, he... I don't... It wasn't the beast that fired the cannon. That's messy. I guess we can't deal with that. Um, it says someone else is being killed in this scene. I don't know who. This guy isn't dead. Like, is there someone else around here? I can't tell if they're if if that's this guy. He's kind of bald, but this guy is like completely bald. This guy is only balding. No, he's he's completely bald. Maybe I don't know. But nothing's killing him. This guy is living. Like, is, can I look out the window? Is there something going on there? No. Sure. Send me to, to an unknown corpse. Oh! There was someone right here. Oh. I didn't even see them. Oh my god. They're right here. Must be a body under that. But this person... Were they crushed by a cannon or were they killed by the beast? They were kind of crushed by a cannon, but the cannon was, they weren't crushed by a loose cannon. It was, well, kind of it was a loose cannon. I don't know what to say, were they crushed by the beast or by the cannon? Well, I'm, maybe, let's review their death. <laughs> and find out. Is that the gunner? Yeah. That's that same dude. Okay. Gets crushed by a cannon in a moment. Yeah, you're 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 trying to hit this cannon. You're not you're not firing that one. So you weren't killed by the hmm. I don't know. It's very confused what's going on here. To me at least.
Don't know who they are. And they were crushed, I guess, by the beast. I mean, they were crushed by the beast using a cannon. It's hard to... Hmm. And then you kind of had the same. Oh, I don't really feel like knowing these people's names is going to help us understand this that much better. Like, look at this guy. What's going on with him? Do we know who you are? No. We know you were shot way later on. But right now, you're just trying to move the cannon back. You're trying to reload... You're about to fire at the tentacle. So you're being crushed against the cannon. But that's not how you die. You, you die by being shot in the face. Ah, we'll review this later. Yeah, let's leave. Okay. <clears throat> I do feel maybe there's more we could learn about this scene right here. The mutineering scene. The mutiny scene. But let's push on. Let's press on. Lots of blood down here. I didn't even... Okay, did the other room have a little side area like that? Or were they shaped differently? No, they're shaped differently. Okay. What is this? Just goes outside. Okay. Can't go down yet. There's something. Okay. And here's something right here we can deal with. We'll start with this dude. Did you shoot yourself accidentally? No, something is going on over here. What is that? It's like a giant spider? I have to admit, that was an effective way of introducing a new, a new, uh, something new. Interesting, I can't get out. I can only look at it from this side. This ship had a lot of problems. So, is what's going on is that it's stabbing him through the wall? Soldiers of the Sea, a new chapter. A 
Apparently I can identify him now. But this is the only memory he appears in. How am I supposed to identify you from that? You were... You were kind of impaled. Spiked. Spiked by a terrible beast. I should be able to find you, but it's a three, level 3 deduction. This guy. Hmm. I have no idea how I'm supposed to know who this guy is. Apparently I can, but I don't know how. They make for the lazarette. And then but says shoot the damned thing. Don't know. Okay. Like how am I supposed to know who you are? God, look at look at its pincers. We know you. You're Nickel. You're a uh, first mate, not Nichols. God. And apparently, I should be identify him too, but I don't know who he is. We're going to need to have to go back and review some things now that we've identified some of them. There's the gunner. So this is well before the attack. God, look at that. No, oh, it frustrates me. I feel like I... I probably could... I don't even know. So this guy is the bosun. Now, presumably this is the bosun's mate? But we don't know for certain. Ooh, looks like you got spiked also. Like, just looking at you here, can I tell who you are? No. We definitely need to go back to some of our earlier memories. I'm sure there's more people we can identify by now. Well, let's get a better look at this creature. So they were able to kill it. But they did not have an easy time of it. So you got spiked. That's what killed you. 
That's very clearly what killed you. But is the guy, is this guy the one that killed you? Because he pulled you off the wall? Nah, you got, you got spiked. We don't know who you are. You got spiked by a horrible creature. Still need to deal with that. God, there's so much blood. Here's the dead creature. Ooh. So, it looks like you're burning. You're on fire. So they killed the beast by setting it on fire. Okay. This guy got spiked. We don't know who you are yet, but we, but we can know who you are. Oh, look, this guy got spiked too. We don't know if that killed him though. <clears throat> Don't know who you are, but I know that you died by being burned. Now about this person. Do we know who that is? So this guy was spiked. What? What? Wait, wait. So is this after? Like, did you come around this way and then hide back here? No, this has to be... Why, why'd your body end up back here then? Wait a minute. I'm confused now. So you died back there. But at some point you got spiked here? But this is already... He's already dead at this point. I guess there were more of them? Maybe? There's like tentacles or something. This tattooed dude? No. This is a guy wearing a shirt. There's some sort of tentacles there. There's plenty of bodies we're gonna see the next part of the story. What's next? These two. After we finish this little chain, before we go on to the next area, I think we're going to go back and look at some of the earlier ones. Because I do feel like now that we know some of the people, we might be able to figure out more of the people.
Like there was a reference to someone named Pete at some point. Is this? What? Is that a person or is that part of this creature? I think it's part of that creature. That's that's horrific. And what's going on over these are just ropes, I guess. Okay. You guys are getting guns. You got a little hand cannon. And you're firing... Oof. Oof. I don't know yet. I want to look at the scene again. So that guy was spiked through the head. And this guy was also strangled. They're kind of both strangled. No, this guy was spiked. By a beast. By a terrible beast. I think? It looks like he's not dead from that. It looks like he's, like, being strangled. Although, you know, it, it does kind of look like it's he's being decapitated. I don't know. They're kind of both having that same problem. They weren't spiked, because they're actually, they weren't being shot by spikes, they're actually being hit by its claws. So maybe clawed? It's not really. It feels more like strangled. By a beast. I mean, this guy's like, clearly he's trying to fight back against it. And this guy's trying to escape. So they're not dead, even though it looks like they have something going through them, through their neck. Another person we don't know. But should, should know. person we should know. Oh, there's more coming in. And yeah, they're like, they've got riders, or they, they're people, or something. Ooh. This guy got spiked. This peop the people on this ship did not have a good time. So let's, we can actually take a look at these little things. It looks like... Like there's not like an indentation or something. They've got spears. Where's this one spear? It 
looks like that guy might be about to get spiked. But not yet. Okay, this is where he's setting him on fire. So this is the dude that starts the fire. I don't really know about these deaths. I'm really worried about whether it's supposed to be decapitation or if it's supposed to be spiked. Not spiked, but... Like the claws are open on this one, but not on this one. But this guy seems like he's alive still. Because he's kicking. Yeah. Next death is up above. This guy clearly got spiked. I wonder if that's the gem way out there. <laughs> It's glowing like the gem did. Alright. What's going on? Stay back! It's already on the neck. Hey! Come on, boss! No! Get there! Hey! Cats! Alright, so you're about to get spiked until you die. Don't know who you are. It said that you already had done for Nick. Is there anyone else already dead out here? Above? There's two of them. There's both of them. Are you Nick? Yeah, it says I don't have enough information. This guy got speared. All right, unknown person got spiked. It says N Daemon. I wonder if that's any clue to who they are. I'll wait for their clues. But the whole, it's already done for Nick. I don't know. Let's see. Do we already know someone named Nick? What was the second mate's name again? Nichols. But that's not the right one. Nick. No nicks. Mm, you called it in Damon. I wonder. Like, who would say that? And there's no nicks. Like, Nicholas, okay. So Nicholas was killed. 
I don't know who you are, but I know your cause of death. You were well. I, I know that you were killed by this guy. I'm assuming that this is Nick. But it says I don't have enough clues to know. I could be wrong. This guy seems like he's still alive. So, interesting. The hell are you? Huh. Looks like you're about to get spiked too. Like, do we already have you as being spiked? No. Someone upstairs? Maybe this is Nick. You got speared. Spear. And you're clear now. I think you're Nick. Anything else going on? Bunch of scared people. Boo. That dude. Can't go down. This is purely above scene. All right, give me my little clue. There you go. My little investigative panel. Nicholas Botterill Topman was speared by a beast. Or by an by a foreign enemy? No, by a beast. By a terrible beast. Alright. You're next, dude. on the rigging. Wow. Okay. So, interesting. They're coming up over the side. I guess it's in the middle of a storm. They come up on both sides. Two of them. And you get struck by lightning. Wow. What a way to die. We don't know who you are, though. But there's someone up here.
There's the guy with the tattoos again. Who gets ripped apart. <laughs> No idea who you are, but I know you died by being struck by lightning. Electrocuted. Er, struck by lightning? No. Hooves, tail, wing. <laughs> do they get, what do they get attacked by that has wings? Okay, you got electrocuted. Oops. I wonder if at some point I should start just um, eliminating people based on their positions. So like we just saw all these people up in the up above. So presumably all of them are topmans, I guess. So he's one of these guys. Four of these are Chinese. Persian. You don't seem. Persian to me. Actually, I didn't get a good look at your face. Let's, uh... Let's look at you again. No, you're... It's unclear. I can't even tell if you're... If you're Asian or not. But, we could potentially tell the others. So, you are not. You are... You are. You're not. And I don't think we're at the point where we can start eliminating people that way yet. But at some point we will be. That's going to be a... Uh... Oh, there's somebody dying. Right? I can't seem to zoom in on you enough. Okay, so I said I was going to backtrack, but I know of at least one more place down there where we can look at stuff. Let's go check it out. But we haven't had like one of those rewards for, hey, you got three of them right in quite a while. Where was it? Not that. Which makes me think we're not getting them right. We're like choosing the wrong options. This was something new. Let her hear. One swing. Get true to skull in stone or brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <laughs> you all right there, sir? <laughs> Never been on a farm, Charlie. Charlie. Your shoes now. Okay, so this is Charlie. I think we've seen you several times before. Charlie. Charles Minor? Let's see if there's any other Charlies. Charles Hershick. Midshipman. I think it's Charles Hershick. Instead of Charles Minor, because you don't. Uh, maybe you're a Frenchman. But 
We saw this guy earlier, and he was in the midshipman's place. He was going to talk to the other midshipman. Right? So I think you're Charles Herstick. Or maybe not. Am I wrong? The first memory... I'm wrong. This is a different person than I'm thinking. Hmm. Now I'm not sure. Ah, uh, that's the wrong one. Ah, where's the one I'm currently on? It hasn't given it to me yet. I haven't looked. I haven't uh, haven't actually had a chance to to let it complain to me. <laughs> Oh, here's something going on. And you've got a monkey. Here's the Formosans guarding the gem in there. So this is early. This must be really early on. Bitter cold. Yeah, this is chapter two. They haven't even gone past Portugal yet. A large cow was slaughtered for its meat. Let's take a look at this again. So someone else was killed at the same time. They're sending him to the carpenters. So this was an officer, apparently, because they're calling him Sir. Hmm. Where's the dude? This guy. So we know he's an officer. So he's not just a... But that just doesn't tell us whether he's the bosun's uh, mate. Charles Minor. Or whether he's a midshipman. We just know he's not a topman or a seaman, right? I'm not sure. Actually, I'm not sure. Are midshipmen... Are they are they officers? We need to go and look at the glossary. Nah, I want to look around more. Stop, stop bothering me. So, glossary. We need to spend some more time cross-referencing and doing that sort of thing. So, a midshipman. Officer in training. So yes, so these are younger people of privileged status. Hmm. So I bet he is the midshipman. I'm going to go ahead and bet that. Let's go ahead... Uh, chapter two. Uh, 
the young kid, this guy, or was it this guy? I should be able to identify all these people, but I'm still calling them unknown souls. I think it was this one. Let's let's go. Let's look at the memory again. So this dude. That is Charles or Charlie. Charles Herstick. So probably all three of these are the the midshipmen. They're like young people. You're a level two. You're a level three. Pete. He was looking for a guy named Pete, saying he tried to help Pete at some point. They tried to pull him back. When did you get killed by an explosion? I don't remember that. Yeah, anyway, let's let's go ahead and do this first. So it's sending me towards this person being pulled up. I do like how it doesn't seem to move unless I actually look at it, you know? Like, if I were facing this way, it would just wait, hovering in the air until I got there. Well, same as the other fellow. Some lung disease, not consumption. Made worse by the cold. Will it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him? <coughs> what are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. <coughs> Not good. So you're the doctor. Um... Well, you might be one of... The, I don't know which one of them you are. You're probably the surgeon. Hmm. You're the third mate. You're a monkey! can't figure out who you are, but we know you're died of illness. I'm going to assume this is the doctor. It seems a safe assumption. The surgeon, Henry Evans. And who are you? Some random person that we don't know? Who are these people? Wait, wait, wait. No. Let me just read this. Same as the other fellow. Some lung disease, not consumption. The Lasker House. What does that mean? Oscar House.
Okay. Well, this person died of illness. But I don't know who they are. Here's the other one that died of illness. Uh, your face was clear, was it? So I should be able to figure out who you are. Well, who's Syed? This is this person is not Syed, but maybe we can at least just find the name. Uh, These people were arguing in Russian, I think. Solomon Sayed from India. So this is someone else from India, probably. One of his friends. William Abraham or Renfred. We just don't know which one. Alright, but you are Sayed. Apparently, we can figure out this person, too. These are people that were arguing in Russian. And we should be able to identify all of them. Uh, what was the level for this one? They're at level 3. There are level three. I feel like there's so many people that we have enough information we just aren't identifying them right. Are you alive? Or are you dead? You might just be sleeping. Solomon Syed died of illness. Good, we did guess him right. Okay. I can't help but feel we should be much further along than we are. <laughs> Given all the all the clues we've looked at. Oh well. Alright, can we do is there anything from this that can tell us what was going on? So, we are in chapter two, a bitter cold. I just want to hear that text again. Someone was saying that they were cheating. Both of these people are Russian. We just don't know which one is which. 
Can we tell which one's cheating? No. And apparently we should be able to identify you. You've appeared in three memories. We'll have to figure that out some other time. This person... is someone who's dying of illness also. Fifty-three. Does that mean anything? This is X... Fifty-four. Like, is, is that referencing something I can look at? Maybe. Maybe these are these numbers. 53 is Wasim. 54 is Syed. So does that work out? Is this 54? Yeah. Okay. So this is X. That doesn't help. But this guy is 51. So you... I didn't even think to look at the numbers. You are Renfred. You're not up there. This guy is in this one. X. Whatever that means. So probably this guy is 53. Right? Because he's with the other Indians. Can I look at you? So you are William Wasim? Which just leaves this guy. And if we're going to assume that he's another Indian, that would mean he's Abraham Akbar. God, I feel like I'm really reaching here. <laughs> At least it does keep track of which ones are guesses and which ones are, are, uh, are confirmed. But yeah, if we've got people in bed... So, 58. Can I figure out who you are? No. I didn't even think of looking at these tags. Until now. Uh, where, what are the Russians? What numbers are they? So we've got three. Forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven. Presumably those are those three. Forty-seven. Yeah, we can't really tell. Is there anybody else? 39, 40, 41. They're intentionally not letting me look at their faces so that we can... 
59. You're out of place. 59. What's 59? That's George Shirley. So it's these three. These are the Russians. We just don't know which one's which. I was hoping we'd do some process of elimination sort of stuff, but no. Okay. Well, we're making progress. It hasn't confirmed this one yet. But it doesn't necessarily mean we're wrong, it just means we need to get groups of three. Oof. Okay. Well. <laughs> um... Like, there's so many different storylines going on, I'm a little reluctant to walk away. I think I'm going to continue for a bit.